Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my web page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. I am also the medical author of the books Focused Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very very important topic the DWI Diffusion Weighted Imaging perhaps is the most important sequence to determine acute ischemic lesion so as to plan thrombolysis. So today we are going to talk about DWI Diffusion Weighted Imaging the Neuroimaging Concepts Part 10. Diffusion Weighted Imaging DWI DWI is a technique that measures the free diffusion of water molecules within the tissues. In acute ischemic stroke, failure of the sodium potassium ATAs pump leads to intracellular swelling and reduced intercellular space thus limiting the free movement of water and producing hyper intensity on DWI. In acute ischemic stroke, Failure of the sodium potassium ATPase pump leads to intracellular swelling that is a cytotoxic edema and reduced intercellular space thus limiting the free movement of water and producing hyper intensity on DWI. This imaging technique reveals the abnormalities of ischemic stroke earlier than the standard T1 or T2 weighted MRI or CT and with greater sensitivity and resolution and therefore we can plan thrombolysis because we should get patients within the window period. So here you can see here you can see the DWI lesion it appears hyper intense. So in acute ischemic stroke the infarcted brain shows increased diffusion restriction ischemia leads to failure of ionic membrane pumps that is the sodium potassium ATPase pump which leads to cellular swelling so extracellular spaces become narrow and water molecules have less space to diffuse so this is known as diffuse restriction so here you can see the hyper intense signal on diffusion weighted imaging or DWI so very very important and popular sequence. So here you can see the advantage of DWI over FLAR. See FLAR fluid attenuation inversion recovery sequence has not yet picked up. But in DWI diffusion weighted imaging you can well see the bright signal. It is because of the cellular swelling and reduction of intercellular space. So that the water molecules are not able to diffuse. So there is a diffusion restriction so appears bright on DWI. So another important concept is that in infarct ischemic stroke there is a bright signal or hyper intense signal on DWI but correspondingly, correspondingly it should produce black or dark signal on ADC apparent diffusion coefficient. So how do we confirm in fact it should be bright on DWI or white on DWI and black or dark on ADC apparent diffusion coefficient. This is what we call as diffusion restriction. <coughs> but in some conditions like inflammatory lesions or abscess or tumor again there can be also diffusion disorders and it appears hyper intense on DWI. So how do we differentiate between inflammatory abscess and tumors and <coughs> ischemic stroke in ischemic stroke it appears bright on DWI and dark on ADC but here in both it appears bright <coughs> so pus filled abscesses and dense tumors can also show DWI hyper intensity reflecting not ischemia but rather the limitation of free diffusion of water in these density cellular lesions <coughs> True restricted diffusion in acute infarction image appears hyper intense on DWI sequence and hypo intense on ADC apparent diffusion coefficient map. 
<coughs> if the hyper intense dwi signal is also hyper intense on adc then the diffusion is turned facilitated rather than restricted example vasogenic ed therefore the interpretation of dwi signal hyper intensity must be caught in the context of the adc signal in the same region so this is infarction it appears bright on dwi and dark on adc <coughs> so in an ischemic infarction cells are swollen and water molecules can no longer move freely in the intercellular space black on adc this confirms that this is true diffusion restriction and not t2 shine through the other important concepts of neurology that is clinical neurology i put in a book called exam oriented clinical neurology this will be very useful for students appearing for clinical neurology exams the other important concepts of neurology i put in a question answer format called focus neurology written by me dr srin was this book will be very useful for students appearing for oral exams this book is available online from all leading booksellers including amazon so if interested this book could be purchased online i hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of uh, diffusion weighted imaging if you have enjoyed it please share the link dr srinivas medical concept which is india's leading neurology educational youtube channel so please subscribe to my youtube channel dr srinivas medical concepts and my page dr srinivas concepts thank you bye